All right, so I'm in a different location. This is my shed, which as you can see, has a bunch of random car things and even TSX parts over here and some quads. Uh, but we're not worried about that today. Um, I'm worried about this Harbor Freight kit. It's a rotary accessory kit, which I use with a little drill, little, but, but you know. So we're gonna be cleaning up these wheels. As you guys can see, it does have curb rash. And this is pretty much okay, aside from some some uh, paint fade. So they are gonna have to be repainted. But all of the damage, as you guys can see right here, uh, is gonna get cleaned up with just the rotary tools. Um, I need to swap this one out. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be the the video today. So we're gonna zoom out. Right here. Try to. There we go. Okay, so now you guys can actually see what's going on. Um, we're gonna just go the opposite way. And yes, I am gonna need to swap this one. Um, not quite yet, but I am gonna have to. Okay, so it's not wanting to comply and come off, so I'm just gonna continue using it, but the other way. Oh, wait, oh, it is coming off. Oh, it fell off. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that one on, and I'm just gonna plop another one over it. This is 120 grit. I'm starting with a rough grit because, well, I'm not trying to smooth it out just yet. I'm trying to rough it out and make it, I guess you can say, smooth i don't know how to install these uh pieces if anybody knows an easier way of uh you know throwing these on there that'd be great okay as you guys can see it's a little bit more smoothed out i'm not chasing perfection by any means, I'm not chasing perfection uh, because that is going to take forever. And uh, although I do have the patience for that, I don't have the time for that. Um, I'm going to be here all day, basically. So we're going to get hit this bigger one and try to just leave it as an even, uh, even stand. Yeah, let's just try to get that bucked out as much as we can. So a little backstory on these wheels is that are actually a rare wheel uh they are heart wheels so this is a discontinued wheel um and uh the the two-piece version of this wheel was sick as you guys can see this is the one piece so it's not as sick but i think it's still a nice wheel nice looking wheel um so yeah uh, i have four wheels to do basically what i'm doing is just sanding away a thin layer uh, this one is gonna have to be the deepest one but I'm gonna try to make it look decent because I'm not chasing perfection I'm just getting it ready for paint these are gonna be painted try to guess the color below but they're gonna go on the blue TSX not on the silver one the silver one already has wheels but I do plan on fixing those up and making those look nicer so yeah okay so this was very whoa wait whoa, whoa, whoa. This was very badly curb rashed. You guys can see some of the ones over here. Um, and I'm working, we're just working it in. Um, and over here, uh, I'm just gonna be removing the clear coat. Uh, so I'm wire wheeling it off. You guys can see this this spot right here, this little room of the wheel. Good spot for that as well. You don't need a Dremel, but I think a Dremel would be better for a rotary tool kit. 
Um, so you got this brush as well that cleans very well uh, the wheels when when you know you're actually painting. Uh, I forgot what this was for, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, something some sort of polish because it does have buffing pads. Um, and of course, more rotary tools. The stone ones work out very well. I also use this one, which as you guys can see, really gets in there. This one as well works very well for the where the lug nuts go. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue. And I guess I'll show you guys a finished product uh, because you know you're just gonna work your way around the wheel get off as many of, as much of this as you can uh, to just get it ready for paint. Uh, I mean, you can hand sand it, but I think that'll take forever. If this is taking forever, hand sanding it will take even longer. Or if you guys are crazy enough, you put it on, on a wheel, you put two wheels, and you grab sandpaper, and you just go, Whoosh. but that's dangerous, so don't do that. All right, so a quick before, All right, right where it says extra load. All right, so now where it says extra load, you guys can see all the all the things. So what you want to do is you want to just move back and forth. You don't want to leave it in one spot. You leave it in one spot, and you're gonna get a like a like a little indentation. So like a little U shape. So you don't want that. So you move it back and forth until it's where you like it. Like right here. I can live with those three little dots. I can go a little bit more, but you know, I think that's as good as that's gonna need to be. And then I'm just gonna take off the, the bigger one over here and then all the clear coat. And then I think we're gonna be ready to spray some paint on these. Probably not gonna paint them today. I need to find out a uh, paint, but try to guess the color. I do already have the color. Okay, in so mind. I forgot to, you know, record. Anyway, I used a scruff pad to basically catch a lot of the dirt out of here than a microfiber cloth and uh, cleaned up the wheel. Um, it is now less dirty than what it was. Uh, there are some imperfections like this, which is just paint, which I did want to clean up as much as I could uh, before continuing on to paint. But basically what I'm gonna be using is blackout. This is base coat, so this is not uh, primer, uh, but first I am gonna use the primer. Um, you can use uh, cards or something to go around the wheel and uh, make it look nice and trip, but uh, I'm not going to do that because uh, these these wheels need tires. These tires are terrible, so I can't I can't use these tires anyway. So I'm probably just going to end up uh, getting some other tires used. I'm not going to get new tires for these. Um, maybe if they're really nice shape, maybe. But then I'd have to sell the new tires on the TSX. So. Uh, getting up now going over here to the paint stuff and uh, gonna get me some primer uh, that's gloss clear enamel there it is primer okay so we're gonna prime the wheel shake up real good so I'm not a spray paint professional okay as you guys can see by my oh by my overspray and such anyway i just wanted a full even coat so it's still gonna get sanded so that doesn't matter to me um plus this can is super old and uh i just realized that it kept getting stuck so it kept getting stuck and because it kept getting stuck it kept dripping everywhere so now i have to let it dry which it's getting there and um yeah so this is the only part of the wheel that i did not end up liking um, but there's not a lot that I can do aside from Bondo. I'm not going to put Bondo on a wheel, uh, because that's as much as I can sand it without it getting uneven and unleveled. Um, but the rest of the curb rash is gone, uh, aside from that, but the rest of the extreme curb rash is gone. That over there, that's not curb rash. I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, continuing on, going to let this dry. And uh, just gonna show you guys because all four wheels need work. That's just, that's one sick tire. If only it worked, this was also a decent tire at one point, but now it's cracking, so not a good tire. You guys can see the racing heart. 
don't have any of the other caps so i'm probably not not going to keep these unless i you know one of you guys happens to have three and a half other caps and what i mean by half is that one only has this thing so all the wheels are terrible uh not curb rash wise this one i cleaned up with curb rash really well curb rash over here that one the one that i'm doing is the one that's the worst so that's why i'm cleaning it so these ones don't even need sanding um they're just going to get primered over but i am going to clean these with wheel acid because they are in disgusting shape best way to clean wheels wheel acid you get it in this bulky bottle then you mix it up with diluted with some water that one is the most disgusting one this is now the best looking one and uh basically you just let it sit for like tops two minutes brush it a little bit work it in there and then wipe it off with water to neutralize it so and that's one. it Obviously, sanding down needs to be done on the curb. And uh, two. You guys can see even the hole around the wheel cleaned itself up really nicely. And the worst one of them all. All set. Looking really clean. I actually like the color now.